documents. This is one of the video segments that I'm making for a playlist, which uh, is intended for people who are making the transition from Katia V5 to 3D Experience to this 2023X. Now, uh, in the earlier videos, I, I discussed how uh, you can create a design table for a single part. And this was done two different ways. One was based on renaming uh, parameters or renaming dimensions, and the other one was by defining parameters. And I didn't mention to you that renaming works fine for part, but uh, does not work uh, uh, or for, uh, for assemblies. Uh, however, I noticed that uh, something, that statement which was true in the case of uh, Katia V5 has been, has been uh, uh, I don't want to say fixed, but has been modified so it also works for the 3D experience. So, uh, this particular problem, I'm going to discuss the creation of a design table for a very simple situation which involves two parts, as shown here. And uh, I will be using the concept of renaming, which, as I mentioned, uh, inadvertently, I, I said that it doesn't work for uh, assemblies. That is not the case uh, anymore. Okay, so here's the situation. Uh, in here, the parts are, are shown, and uh, uh, the, the, the parameters, the, the base of this block is actually a square. So this is equal to that. This side is equal to that. And the, it has a radius, which is called R block. And the cylinder has a radius R cylinder. These two need not be the same, but uh, it is possible to create an equation uh, such that this dimension equal to that dimension. And uh, then, of course, as you adjust the R circle, for example, or R cylinder, R block radius is adjusted. But in the present problem, I'm assuming that these are independent dimensions. So in creating design table, uh, our Excel spreadsheet will look something like that at the very bo bottom corner, bottom right corner, and I've already created that. So let's go ahead and do this problem. Uh, uh, let me start with assembly, uh, assembly, uh, uh, assembly design, which is one of one of the favorite uh, uh, applications that I put in my list. Now uh, I'm going to insert insert the first part which is called the block and I can do right click insert and I'll go and do a 3d part or if you go by the uh, if you if you click on the uh, assembly uh, the assembly uh, see if you click on the uh, product modification over here you can insert a, a new 3d part either way so I'll do it like that I'm going to change the name of this thing properties I'm going to change the part uh, the instance name to block. Okay, uh, this was the, the the product name or the part name if you want, and click on the instance. I'm going to make this thing also block. All right, let's go ahead and make it. Notice that this length, uh, this name becomes shortened, and uh, I'm going to double click on this. Double click on the uh, 3d shape okay so we are in part design now you can see that so on a convenient plane on that horizontal plane I will sketch uh, let me draw a, 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 a square well actually a rectangle centers rectangle and I'm going to dimension these by the way because these are later on are going to be equal to each other and it's going to, it's going to be one of my parameters and then I draw a circle over here all right, then dimension it. Okay, good. Uh, now, exit and pad it. Good. So uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this bottom two dimensions are the same. So what you can do is you can click on F of X on the tools, select the tools, uh, tools tab f of x and uh, click on the part the dimensions that are relevant to this problem are going to pop up so i'm going to say this dimension add a formula equal to that dimension in the back so uh, notice that by double clicking on it it puts on the right hand side and i say okay and 
Okay, notice that immediately it resized so that this side is equal to that side. Or right. so we created an equation. You can see that or a relation, and it's right here. Of course, this is the truncated name, truncated equation. It says that this dimension equal to that dimension. Okay, let me put this thing back. All right. Then I'm going to go back to the assembly right there. This is the assembly, and once again under the production product modification tab. I click on uh, new, insert a new uh, uh, 3D, uh, 3D part. Okay, so uh, right click properties, and I'm gonna change, this is the this is the part name. I'm gonna make it cylinder, CYL, and here's the instance, also CYL. Okay, and notice that the name became shorter, and the instance name, this is part name, this is the instance name. And now we're going to make it. So let me double click on the 3D shape. We are in part design now on that same plane. I will sketch essentials. I will sketch a circle. The location of these things are not important. Uh, so I just created a random, at a random position. There we are, exit. And then pad it. Okay. So what we have done is we have created, if you go all the way to the top, all the way to the top level assembly right there, we have created uh, two parts and they're sitting right here, as you can see, they're sitting right there. Now, uh, what I would like to do, I would like to rename some of these. First of all, at the top level assembly, you click on the, you select the tools, tools, the tab, and once again, you click on F of X, so everything that is pertaining to the, this assembly is going to pop up here. So if you click on the top level, the dimensions relevant to this particular assembly are going to pop up. Notice that this one, it says f of x because I made this equal to that. All right. So I'm going to rename. This is the radius. There it is. This is the radius. I'm going to change radius of the block. I'm going to change this name to R dash block. Okay. All right. And then I select uh, uh, this dimension, this dimension that doesn't have f of x on it. It's right here. I'm going to change this thing to L dash block. Okay, notice that what happens when I do that, immediately it tags this thing to the left side of it and it keeps this L block, okay, good. Now, I select this radius from the cylinder. Notice that it is right there, right there, see that? And uh, uh, I'm gonna change this to, uh, R dash sill cylinder and apply and uh, just to convince you that we have actually renamed stuff here so let me say rename parameter I did not create parameters but I did create these rename these dimension to be L block R block and R cylinder okay and then I say uh, okay all right so now we want to create a design table. Notice that we are still in the tools. We are in the assembly design. We are in the tools tab. And here's the f of x that I used for renaming stuff. This is the design table. In a later video, I will do the product table. But uh, here is the design table. You click on it. And then it says, okay, uh, uh, you are trying to uh, basically use this uh, workbench or application. And the answer is yes. It says you're trying to create a design table. And the answer is yes. It says, where is it? So import a file. I put the cursor there. See that? Put the cursor there. I have on my desktop, I full, I have, on my desktop, I have a folder right here. Right here. That, that's the Excel spreadsheet that I just showed you. I showed you a few minutes ago. It says, okay, uh, 
basically there is the there is the the excel spreadsheet this is the name that it was given and i say okay And it's uh, and then we're done here. See that? You just say uh, check mark, green check mark. And then it says if I see any names in the Excel spreadsheet that matches the names that you actually created, remember I renamed stuff, should I assume they're the same? And the answer is yes. It says, okay, we got it. So let me actually make this thing a little bit shorter. So the first one, you can see that, the first one is for L block, right there, L block. It's the length of the block. The second one is the radius of the block. And the third one is, is the radius of the cylinder. And, uh, okay, move this thing on the side here. So if you select the first row, first row, and say apply, Put the cursor in this area and say control u there we are so the radius of the circle the cylinder is three the radius of the block radius of the hole in the block is one and the length of the block is two and a half if you go to the next one apply i don't know whether you have to put this cursor the cursor here or just leave it like that control u okay cancel well, let's see what happened here you can see what the issue is the size of the block right here is one by one and the radius of the hole is in that block is 0.5 so obviously this cannot be the case so I'm, what i'm going to do i'm going to edit the table that excel spreadsheet is going to come so that dimension of the block instead of one i'll call it one point i don't know two as long as two times the radius is less than this uh, it's going to work. So say OK. And then we say uh, close it. We close it. This is a, a, a comment that the design table has been modified. And this is the one that I had problem with. I, I don't like the way this is done because it kind of resizes these things. Let me put it back. Not that it's wrong. It's just that it's inconvenient. There we are. So this one we had the problem before. You select that row, Oops. second row that we had issues, apply and control U. It looks like it doesn't, you don't have to necessarily put the, the cursor in here or there, just control U will do it. Now notice that these both have 0.5 radius, no problem. Let me show you. Here is the design table that was created right there. Uh, not, not there, sorry, uh, relation, right right there, see that? Now notice that these parameters were automatically created. I did not do that, but it automatically created them, okay? That renaming led to that basically that uh, 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 arrangement. So we go here, let me see now. I just want to be able to see my entire table. That's all. That's why I'm resizing these things. You don't have to do that. So if you go to the first one, apply, control U. There we are. Second one, apply, control U. Third one, apply, control U. Etc. So yes i renamed things however what happened is that these parameters are already created uh, this kind of a thing does not happen uh in uh Katia v5 but uh, they have fixed it or i feel they have modified that so it does work okay now notice that if i go here try to double click on this and change it it won't let me do that because these are with the design table. These are associated with design table. See, there's a design table icon here. All right, that takes care of this problem. And then I'm going to come back and uh, discuss the product table. Okay, so that you see next to each other, there is a design table that I use, and there's a product table that you don't have it in Katia V5. 
All right, good luck.